Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We have a great new video of a gene that's actually a little bit controversial. So the sunset ball python, there have been lots and lots of comments on all our videos. Whenever we show a sunset, people really like to dog on the sunset because it's a really cool recessive and it's been around a good while, but most people say it just did not live up to its potential because they tend to kind of darken with age, kind of become more brown and all that beautiful rusty red that we love about a sunset is somewhat lost. So from the very beginning, when working with sunset, we've been on a mission here at Canova, as we are with all combos, just to figure out what genes really bring out the best in sunset, where we're gonna get the most beautiful snakes from the project. In the end, that's what we've done literally with clowns and pides and lavenders and all these things that we know and love, and sunset is absolutely one of them. We're really excited to show you what we figured out. Let's dive in. So we're gonna start by looking at some regular sunsets, talk about why people like them so much, especially as babies with that rusty red. All right, so we have three regular sunsets and these are actually siblings to some of the ones we're gonna show you that are really cool new combos. So these are sunsets and they're all possible head clown, possible head hypo, possible head desert ghost. So just a little bit of a spoiler alert for what's coming. But you see how just beautiful they are. They're, they have got this really orange rusty color. They kind of have a lightened pattern a little bit. Sunset was actually first imported by Brian Barcheck. You guys know him, BHB Reptiles. Way more famous than this channel. Check out his stuff. He actually imported the very first Sunset and it took him quite a few years to, to prove that it was a heritable trait, a recessive gene, and all of our cool projects has come thanks to his initial work. Okay, so here we have a regular sunset next to a hypo sunset. We talk about this a lot on the channel. The hypo makes it look frosted, but with that rusty red of the sunset, it gives it a really cool look. Now, I believe that it was Brock um, Wagner and Brad Boa who made the very first hypo sunset just a few years ago. It's a really neat combo. This is a standard hypo sunset and a beautiful new double recessive. Okay, you guys definitely know these from the channel. We have a regular clown here, pet sunset, and then of course this sunset clown. Now the sunset just takes all that just standard clown pattern with the beautiful little teardrops coming down the side and the black back and it makes it these rich kind of rusty reds. So it's a really great combo. We've been working with this for a few years now. In fact, we're most excited about the spot nose sunset clown we made earlier in the year. We'll show you a little footage of that. That is the best combo we've made so far, but I think sunset works absolutely fantastic with the clown. Fantastic color, and you can definitely see that clown pattern bleeding through. So now things are really getting exciting. We're going from the hypo sunset to the hypo desert ghost sunset. This is the new combo that we just made. All right, so check these out side by side. This is the hypo sunset we just showed you with that frosted look. The desert ghost takes it all the way to a different level. Now, when this snake first hatched, I was like, ah, oh, is it desert ghost, is it not? But look at the difference after just two sheds here on the hypo desert ghost sunset. He is absolutely gorgeous and just getting lighter and lighter. So as you guys know, desert ghost has been really key to so many combos that we've made here at Canova, whether it be the pied stuff, making it really clean and pure, or the Desert Ghost Clowns, which takes every clown combo absolutely to the next level. And in general, Desert Ghost is so much better with Hypo. So we were really excited to put it into the sunset and see whether or not it would completely wipe out all the reds. And we still have amazing, amazing oranges and rust colors throughout this snake. But we have something I think that can really kind of preserve the color all the way through to adulthood. If anything, it's gonna get potentially brighter and brighter, at least for the next 500 to 1,000 grams. So we're gonna keep you guys along on this journey as we see this snake grow. And it'll be really, really fun to kind of follow its progress over time. Okay, so to introduce the next combo to you guys, this is the Hypo DG Sunset, and then we have a Hypo DG Spot Nose, and we're gonna combine these two into one snake. The Spot Nose has a really amazing pattern, including this really beautiful, bright kind of striping down the back, and so that's what we were hoping to bring into the Sunset, and guys, the Sunset version is just absolutely phenomenal. So this is the very same snake we kind of introduced to you guys at Tinley Park, and he's shed one more time since then, and look at that phenomenal color. Just gorgeous. The spot nose adds that beautiful stripe, the bright, pure yellow that's brought in with the beautiful pinks. So the Hypo and DG bring in this gorgeous pinks all the way down the snake. 
I think it's a bubble gum is what it looks like. That's the color I would give it. And we're so proud and happy with how these combos are. And again, we're just gonna kind of keep you guys up to date on how they look as they grow. So the cool thing is both of these, we showed you guys the Sunset Clown. Both of these came from a project where they were both 50% Het Clown as well. And the Hypo DG Sunset proved not to be Het Clown but the Spot Nose Hypo DG Sunset proved to be 100% Het Clown. So what an amazing plug and play to see the clown version of this potentially. We said the Spot Nose Sunset Clown was our favorite one. The clown version of this, I think is gonna be just absolutely amazing. All right guys, tell me what you think. Does this help the Sunset Project? Do you love this direction? I think it's gonna be amazing and it's gonna bring us a whole world of combos that in the end can't be done without sunset, which is the whole point. That's what we're in this for. We're gonna have so much fun with it. Thanks for watching and be sure to catch us on our next video. Summer will be going through our adult side, once again, looking at some of the biggest snakes we have and what to expect size-wise from your ball pythons. <laughs>